Okay, we're going to try to set this up so that the screens match up like they show on the screen now. You're going to use a couple of things as reference points. The black bar, which is where the screen comes down, there's a notch right there, a little bump that has, well, that's basically the middle of the that space. Then to start uh, with the projectors, you want to make sure that they're kind of lined up straight, the projectors on the cart straight, and then you're going to adjust the um, to the maximum opening for the aperture of the projector so that they're the same. You're at the same starting point with both projectors. Then you're going to hit the um, and this is assuming you're, you know, the projectors are somewhere else other than in the right place. So you're gonna start with the, the aperture wide open. You're going to hit the auto execute and that should get you in the ballpark as far as um, uh, the screen will be rectangular. Now it may be tilted one way or the other. That's what this is for. This one screw here, uh, this one I've got a piece of paper that I have to, um, to keep it from constantly sliding out. Anyway, then you also want to get the height the same on both sides. But you're working with a space that is between uh, there at the end, maybe a little bit in, whatever. But it's going to be the same on both sides. So you start from that middle one. You get the cart to line up there, and you try to do the same procedure. Make sure the cart's straight. Uh, do the auto execute first. And once that's in place, you should be sort of good to go. Adjust the cart until it um, just fills the space between that point and near the end. Make sure it's the same on both sides. And then just adjust the cart until it sort of fits into that space nicely and then fits close to the top. Then you'll see that the squares uh, will match up or line up also. Um, you can see how they kind of uh, they're the same size and they match at the same place. Uh, as far as the wiring, they don't need audio for this set, so you can run the um, power cord to one cart and then run one cart to the extension cord. As far as the sound on this particular set, they have microphone on each podium and then one in the center. They use a Logitech um, sound system and they point the microphone in the middle down towards that. For the mixer, everything comes in all at one point. Try to avoid a bunch of uh, um, cord covers. Comes in, everything will be in the same order. So on the left is the left podium. This is the middle center microphone and then that's the right podium. Everything goes into just one instead of two of these. That way everything comes out the same. So you can adjust all of these pretty much the same. And then this is the output. The nice thing is you don't have to run back and forth to the sound box. You can adjust the sound here. So that is pretty much it. Hope that helps.